there's the Delaney Cup. And Dublin have claimed it for the eighth time in nine seasons. And for the first time since 1942, they have claimed a Leinster football and hurling double. And, they, and they've done the double in the province for the first time in 71 years. Liam O'Neill ready to present the Sam Maguire Cup to Stephen Cluxton as Dublin are the new All-Ireland champions, champions of 2013, champions for the 24th time. What an achievement. They played stunning football all year. Worthy winners, fans' favourite. Good enough to win the league, good enough to retain the Leinster title, now good enough to reclaim the famed Sam Maguire. Well, right now, the cheer will be massive when Johnny Ryan, the temporary referee, blows the full-time whistle. The wait is almost over. The famine is over for Dublin. It's been a long time since 1961. 52 years ago, Dublin last won the Leinster Championship. The bonfires will blaze around Dublin. They will celebrate this one because Dublin hurling is back in the big time. Very nice gesture by Martin Scally, chairman of Leinster Council, to ask Jimmy Gray, goalkeeper in the Dublin team in 1961, to present the Bob O'Keefe Trophy and hand over that wonderful honour to John from Lucan, where Dublin are the Leinster champions, 2013. An amazing night for Dublin. It's all over. Dublin have beaten Kilkenny in the semi-final of the Leinster Championship. Hat-tricks all around by Anthony Daly to Brian Cody. And now it's Dublin who reached the Leinster final. They beat Kilkenny for the first time in the championship since 1942. And Cork are well on their way to knocking out Kilkenny out of the championship and qualifying for a semi-final. Out first Kieran Joyce, no lack in it's lacking that sends it in for as well to watch. Watch, difficult angle, and he finds the target. Really good score. That's it, Mark. They're not the champions they are for nothing, and you know, fantastic. You know, you have to say their attitude has been fantastic. They're not giving up and they're sticking in there. Conor O'Sullivan comes forward. The Rebels may have lost the monster final, but they have knocked Kilkenny out of the championship. What a day for Jimmy Barry Murphy. Brian Cody devastated, no doubt, as he feels deep sorrow in his heart now. But his team have been beaten. And there is uh, Brian Cody up there watching now. It's all over. Limerick are the Munster champions 2013. And nobody but nobody can take it away from them. John Allen has masterminded a wonderful victory on Shannon's side. They've waited some 17 years. And here in the Gaelic ground in Limerick, it has been a very, very worthy success for Limerick. It's celebration time for Monaghan, and they are certainly ready to celebrate. And this one's gone over, and that is the substitute, Tommy Freeman, who came off the bench in the last couple of minutes to put that one over the bar. There's the final whistle, and Monaghan are the new Ulster champions. And there is absolutely no shred of doubt whatsoever about the quality of their victory. The fans come on to celebrate, because at the end, it is Monaghan who are the Ulster champions. Final score, Monaghan 13 points, Johnny Ball 7. The kick out from Declan Trainer. It's all over. Cormac Riley, the Meath referee, calls the end of the game. Only their fourth ever championship win, and unbelievably, London are into the Connacht final against Mayo on the 21st of July. It's finished London 2 11, Leitrim 113, a one point win for London. And the referee.
referee looks at his watch. He's played one minute of stoppage time. And the game is up. And Donegal, the All-Ireland champions from 2012, lose their crown. And they lose it to a magnificent Mayo side. And the final score here is Mayo 4-17. Donegal, one goal and ten. They've been and gone, there's nothing to lose. And Burke has given them absolutely everything. And plenty of Waterford men around, and it's all over. And Waterford have won their first All Ireland minor title since 1948. 65 long years. They've won it on a full time score of Waterford 121, Galway 16 points. Jimmy Barry Murphy looks like he's done it. It looks like he's brought a Cork team from nowhere to win the championship. A few seconds remaining. Clare won one more chance. That's Pat O'Connor. Inside it comes here. Nicky O'Connell now trying to fend off challenges. Back out it comes once again to Donald O'Donovan. They would deserve a draw. They get a draw. Donald O'Donovan puts it over the bar. And David Fitzgerald and Clare, I think, will be back here. The referee has allowed the quick puck out to be taken. It's still in play, no longer, it's all over, and it's ended in a magnificent draw at Grove Park. For the second year in a row, the teams in the final have to come back and do it all again. We won't complain. The whistling from the fans suggests the time is up. The ball breaks free, there's a chance here for Jerome. But it's a male man that has it, and that man is Connor Byrne. And the ball is kicked into the air, and Mayo are all Ireland minor champions for the first time since 1985. And Tom 
Markham Cup is going back as Ended Kinvari and his management team celebrate a wonderful win for Mayo. They've waited since 1985, but here it is. Mayo, for the seventh time in their history, are all Ireland minor champions in the presence of Montichuk Kenny, a proud Mayo man. Stephen Cohen receives the cup. Joy for Mayo in football. I'm with Hurling's new hero, Shane O'Donnell. Congratulations. What does it feel like to be an All-Ireland winner? It's absolutely amazing. The first time I was on the panel and I get to a final, I don't even know what hard work most of the lads put in every year. And they get nowhere and this is to them, it's to backroom staff, it's to everyone. Like it's, I'm the man that gets at the end of the goals, but like it's a team effort to get goals. Not only did you make it to a final, you scored a hat-trick within 20 minutes. Yeah, well, the first two were absolutely given to me, handed on a plate, but, yeah, it's the stuff of dreams. For the first 20 minutes, I was in dreamland. It's, you'd wake up and go, that'd never happen now, like, but I couldn't even believe it, and I really couldn't believe it. And even right there, right into added time, it was still in the mix. Yeah, just testament to Cork. Now, they were a brilliant team. They never gave up the ghost, like, even goal after goal, gunning in them, and it didn't phase them. They just came back, but... Thank God we came out the right side. What does it mean to the people of Clare, people back home watching, the people here in the stadium? It means absolutely everything. It's tough times all around the country, and if you can lift them with these kind of performances and these kind of days, like, look at the hill. It's absolutely amazing. Like, you can see what it means to them. Like, I don't even need to say it. Shane, congratulations. A terrific performance. Enjoy it. Thanks very much. Thanks. This is going to be worth having a look at. Here's Nash, and look at where all the Clare team are. You know, Jerry, you'd have to say Clare six points up after 15 minutes, but Cork look like they're going to get plenty of scores too. It's so open. It's not like a, an All Ireland final. You know, it's there's loads of room out there, and anything can happen in this game. Well, if you were the Clare manager, what would you do? You'd bring everybody back, of course you would. Now, what can Anthony Nash do? Onto the 13 metre line, and he's got a goal. Somehow he squeezed it in. 16 minutes are gone, an amazing start to this final. 2-5 to 1-5. Anthony Nash gets his third ever championship goal. Watch this, sailing it over the head there of Pat O'Connor and everybody else. There was no stopping it. Venomously struck. Look where he went to, onto the 13-meter line. Bang! And all the goal is hurled inside. But, Jared, the problem there is everybody's nearly leaving it to somebody else. Now, he couldn't save that shot, honey. That is a rocket, and if that hit somebody, you know, I think you're, he's rising it into the 13-metre line. It's crazy, it's dangerous, but it's under the rules, he's well entitled to do it. Who will react to that score? It's clearly got it now.